So we're over here, and I've got – for number one, I've got a position versus time graph. Um, and generally, I just want to kind of think about the slope of the graph, and that's going to describe the value of the graph below it. So here I would say that the, um, the slope is positive because it's trending up. It's a line. So that means that the slope at the beginning of the graph and the slope at the end of the graph are the same. So slope is positive. Slope is constant. Okay. And then I would just take those phrases and bring them down onto the graph below. And it's telling me that oh, I can't really rotate this. Yeah. But instead of the word slope, I would just write velocity. Ah, what is that all about? Hey, man. Draw. Let's go with a different color. So velocity is positive. Velocity is constant. And so I'm just going to draw in a velocity graph. This is zero right here. I'm just going to draw on a velocity graph right there. Okay. And then I would go about describing. I can kind of get rid of all this jazz now. Go about describing the slope on this graph. And the slope on this graph, well, it's a horizontal line. And anytime you have a horizontal line, the slope of that is zero. So I'm going to make sure I make a note somewhere. I'm going to use a different color. It's a horizontal line. Slope is zero. And again, I just take that description of slope and give me the lasso tool, buddy. Yo, this thing is not playing nice. So the slope is zero. That didn't happen. Slope is zero, so I can just bring that down here, and I don't know why I didn't grab the L, but it didn't. Uh, and again, all I do is I change that word slope. Since we are talking about a velocity versus time graph, the slope is the acceleration. And so I bring that down to the acceleration graph, the acceleration is zero. Okay. I can do the same thing on the other one. This slope is negative because it's going down as I go to the right. It's also a line, so it's constant. So that means that my velocity is going to be negative and constant. This is a horizontal line. The slope on the velocity versus time graph is acceleration. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero, so that's how I know that this acceleration is zero. Okay? So that's how I draw the first two. <coughs> But you're just using those two understandings. Slope on a position versus time graph. I should say velocity value is the slope on a position versus time graph. Acceleration value is slope on a velocity versus time graph. And those are kind of the two understandings that I'm leveraging here as I work through on these. So I've done one and two. Let's say, oh gosh. Hmm. Four, five, six, eight. <laughs> you come set up for one. We're not going to do all of them. Four, five, six, eight, nine, eleven. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty
16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. So if you want to, well, what? Don't we? We'll see. Sign up for one of these. We're looking a little thin on the whiteboards here, so we'll figure out what's up with that. You might have to grab one that got a little light down. You might need a little of the magic spray for some of these boards. Just grab it. There's some up front and there's some in the back. Oh, there's none in the back, sorry. There's some clean ones or there's some dirty ones. Yeah, just grab whatever one from up there. Hit it with the magic spray. <clears throat> let me um, let me share another technique with you here, quick too. When I'm doing. Something like number three. Hey friends, if you look at number three, it's a curve. So a good technique for a curve, you can either do that secant thing or try to turn a curve into like a couple of lines. Okay. So if I look at this, I can kind of draw, oh, draw it. Okay, hey, is that a little easier to see? So what I've done is I've taken number three and I've, I've kind of turned it into two lines to help me think about what's going on here in terms of the slope. And I think I'm describing this first segment as negative slope. And I would describe this as a really negative slope. It's getting steeper. What's that? Oh, which? Oh, there are many friends. Caleb? Uh, not here today. No. Nope. Yeah, yesterday was probably the first one. Yeah, hang on a second. Let me uh, pause this here. Alright. You're done? Whoa. Whoa. No. If you're done, can you go back through and try to include an intentional mistake on there somewhere so people have something to ask you about? 11 is the one with a negative slope on the velocity. Hang on one second. Let me draw my graph here. Oh, it's terrible. I 
I didn't miss, I hit part. Yeah. Yeah. All right, tune in. So I did number three. I got a position versus time graph. That's a curve like this. It's, uh, it's negative. So that's why my velocity graph's down here. Uh, and then my acceleration graph looks like that. Okay? Questions or concerns on anything I have here? Run that by your neighbor. Looks good to you. Did right hashtag mom. Mistakes are mandatory. Wait, isn't it like Oh, get it. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> All right. So come at me, bro. Kachuk. Okay, Kerchuk is uh, thinking. That the slope is, uh, you said, Increasing. increasingly negative, okay? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky, Jack. I'm going to find you in your third hour class. All right, we'll wrap up with that. See you on...